Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 2. In the last episode, we defeated Mytha or Mytha or Martha, the uh, baneful or beautiful queen. <laughs> I've totally forgotten her name. This person's been on my screen for ages. Right. And I thought, seeing as how we picked up uh, a Pharaoh's Lockstone at the end of the last episode, we would come here to the Seven's Quarters at the Lost Bastille. And we'd come and do the Belfry Gargoyles. Everyone knows they're up here. So I'm not going to pretend like I don't know. Doc's he's just he's cool with it. He's cool with me being here. Um, I know there are some items I missed in the Lost Bastille. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get them or not. Because I don't like this place very much. Um, but I will, I will consider it. Just so you know, I have swapped out my cat's ring for... Uh, a ring of steel protection plus one. Some sort of dwarf. Undead! Undead! Okay. Can you have some more belt? The great bell of Orkin. The bell belongs to the princess, it do. What's up with that out of place exclamation mark? Was quick. It's like watching the uh, what's that film? Willow? Yeah, Willow. I don't know who this guy is. So, that is an invader banished. I don't know if that was uh, scripted or not. Didn't make me waste a bunch of Estus flasks though. Ah, uh, never mind. I guess I won't kill the midget. Guess I won't be getting him there either then. Never mind. Um, let's just go. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Where are you going, little man? Where are you going, little man? Is this where he came? No. Okay. Oh, there he is. So it looks like this place is full of midgets that are going to be attacking us, and uh, clearly a bit of a popular PvP area, which is is a joy. What is this? Oh, it's just a pile of dead bodies. I expected something else, though. I expected something else, and I don't know why. Uh, I was warned, by the way, about this place, and... The, uh, the people who will invade you here. And I said, I will do it online uh, once, and then if shit continues to go badly, then I will put up with it no more. Oh, God, it's good. I uh, must use another Radium Life Gem. I'm going to need some more of them. I bought all that I could from... Um, from the old lady. Oh, that's blocked off. Uh, back in Majula. So now I'm just I'm just having to pick them up and hope I can get them on my way. Hello. Are they doing dark damage or something? Damn it. 
I mean, I'm not scared of little people. I don't have that fear, which I actually, I believe is a thing. People are scared of the little folk. I don't get it. They're just people, but s smaller. Sorry, that invader's fucked me up a bit. I can't speak properly anymore. I am way too nervous doing these things. Uh, oh, 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 speak of the devil. Um, it's like I have to pra. Like, it's like I have to prove myself to you guys. I don't need to think that I'm bad at everything. Ah! He's trying to set me on fire. What are you doing? Oh, a rusted coin? Ah, oh, that's good. I used mine up just before I, uh, I decided to go trade in all my smooth and silky stones to the crows. Let's ring in some bells. I assume it's going to open up the gate. It was down here. That's the only thing that would make sense to me. Let's go fight some gargoyles, motherfucker. Um, I don't worry. Oh, hey. Hey! Oh man, that's way more damage than I... Oh, I'm probably gonna actually use a, a human effigy just to get some extra health. And let's. I saw I had loads of hexing guns. Let's try these. I don't see why dark damage would do anything to them because the little guys around there. Um, all do dark damage. I think this is probably a stupid idea. Now that I think about it. Where's the dog? Oh, he's there. I'm, I'm going to run straight to the boss this time. Uh, invaders be damned. I want to get this shit done. So you can summon, uh, that's not a person, but you could summon Bori if you wanted to. He's one of my favourites. Good old Bori. I think someone just tried to attack me with... Sounds like someone tried to attack me with, um... A bow. Some of those midgets tried to bow me. Yeah, that did shit all. Okay. Now clearly we have uh, more gargoyles this time. I don't know how many are going to spawn all in all. I don't know if I really want to find out either. On the plus side, the attacks are fairly straightforward to block. Oh my. Uh, that could be a problem though. Uh, someone's breathing fire. One is down! I defeated a demon! And that's another one down. More spawning though. Ah. Okay, let's try and uh... Get some more health.
Watch out for all these fucking jumpy attacks. Okay, another one down. Get some stamina back. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, I'm so lucky that missed. Just keep moving, I think. Apart from right now where I'm not moving in any way. But I think... I, I, I think I was understood. Alright. Didn't expect to get hit then. Oh, big mistake, buddy. Phew. Okay, that is the... Did the name even appear? It probably did. I didn't even see it. Yeah, that is the Belfry Gargoyles Down. Thank God for that. I don't, really want, I don't want to do that again. Uh, a couple of items, at least one, anyway. So, yeah. Oh, midget fella. What the fuck is your problem, man? Take care of business there. And I guess that is it for the items. Let's go! Let's go inside, see what awaits us in the bell tower. Oh, staircase. Be wary of phantom. Uh, so, a southern ritual band. I think we might already have one. Which is a bit annoying. Anyway, let's light that bonfire. Uh, let's rest that bonfire. I'll see what we can get down this ladder. Hopefully now that we are out of this area we will be getting invaded. <laughs> That's an awful lot of dogs. Um, can we do anything about that? Oh, fuck off. I'm trying to get my bow equipped. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Well, that is that is better than nothing. I actually want to go down here, though. I mean, I can see that there's a fuckload of dogs. One, two, three, four, five, six, I think. Yeah. Ah, uh, but we got a good shield. We can kill them in one hit. And then this guy's here. Oh, I've run out of, uh, run out of stamina there. Oh. oh, he's not doing much damage. Okay, that's the end of that then. A human effigy. The Bastille Key, that's good. I think I do know what that's for. Unfortunately, um, you can't fast travel to primal bonfires, I don't think. An enchanted Falcon. Efficiency of Liar, and oh, hurrah for good. So let's just quickly try, go try, try, fake wall, fake wall, or fake walls. Um, so, I don't know, could you get souls off human invaders, or are they just, or do you, and they're just very insignificant? Can't really tell. Anyway, never mind. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna rest and go to Majula so we can level up and not, not waste these souls on anything. Is she gonna sell anything? You? I bet she's not. I bet she's always gonna disappoint me. Yeah, no. you are a disappointment. 
Okay, let's, uh... Oh, shit, no, right. Okay, there is something I wanted to do. I want to do this. We are going to come and speak to... <laughs> I went to the wrong place. Actually, I want to check if the cartographer's back. I'm sure this guy should return to his house at some point. No. No. He doesn't want to live here anymore. He just lives in a fucking cave. Ah, uh, no. We should have gone next door. Okay. Uh, buy. So we want to buy um, a decent amount of stuff off him. Let's buy that. And that. Okay. That's going to be enough for him. Quickly check in with the old lady. You have nothing I want, woman. Uh, I think. She sells equipment of uh, NPC characters that you kill. Quickly level up one level this time. Uh, we're going to go for more endurance. One more point of endurance. And then we're going to rest. I just want to. I want to spend some salts here because we're gonna. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> shut. Fuck off. Let's buy some uh, some rubbish off him. Let's uh, let's buy. Uh, let's buy that. And let's just buy. Probably not that many. This doesn't go off very quickly, does it? How are you guys doing? You doing well? Good. 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 I'll be I'll be done in a sec. Don't worry. Any second. I had to I had to have a, a round number. Ah uh, fuck it, let's just Okay, so, that's fine, and now what we're going to do is that. Uh, so, uh, I was going to say the point of that is to get rid of your souls, and <laughs> then I pick the fucking souls back up. Alright, Carol's pointed out that you could just use the dark sign instead. Uh, if you want to get rid of your souls. I hate how slow this thing is. Okay, that was there's going to be a lot of editing going on. Right there. Anyway, once you've got no souls and are dead, because I'm an idiot, uh, you want to come back over to this guy. Um, sorry, have we met? Oh, sorry. It's just I've been awfully busy lately. Care to look over my wares? He's Please, now a douchebag! I upgraded my stock. Yeah, I get it. In a... here. Okay, so you speak to this guy after you spend 17,000 souls on him. He's gonna give you the uh, armor of Oros for free. And then he will also now be sucking... Uh, where is it? It's here. Alva armor. Which uh, is not too bad. The helmet's pretty good. Um, the leggings and the gauntlets uh, leave something to be desired, but the, the body itself and the helmet are good for their weight. However, uh, we'll have a quick look at the Auros armor that he's just given us for nothing. So this stuff, uh, it does leave you absolutely naked as the day you were born, except for a loincloth. Little baby's born with loincloths though, so nothing there. It's basically invisible if we look at it against... Uh, let's try and f get it to a darker area. It becomes a bit clearer. And we'll take off uh, Chloranthi. 
There we go. You can see it a bit better. You have sort of... Uh, it's, it's mostly transparent, but let's just call it translucent armor. It's quite cool. It's actually pretty good for the weight. It's super light, and every piece increases your equip burden, so it's basically like uh, you're not wearing it. We could wear the mannequin mask. Creepy doll face. Anyway, we're going to go back to our old stuff because I like Fengal's equipment. It's super super good by the way penal handcuffs raise power of pyromancies can't remember if i'd shown that before uh these the oros armor does sort of pale in comparison to um van Gaal's. but it's kind of worthwhile if you want to have a light character and you still want to have good armor then that's probably the equipment you want to use um i think we are going to continue here. She's going to uh, drop down here. Uh, just so you know, you need the the ring of the cat to make this. I'm pretty sure, because that would have uh, fucked me right up otherwise. Uh, but without it, you're going to miss those two items. The ladder will bring you down here. Holy shit! Could have done with a better ladder. Is there anything here? It's not. I don't uh, I don't even know where to go. Onto this very thin piece of wood that's sort of it's taped together. Truly shocking. <laughs> so I guess cheaping out, cheaping out and getting the crappy ladder. Oh, it's probably not the best idea. I don't know if there is um, a better way. I don't know if you can get down any further. Um, without... I kind of want to find out, though. Because I don't know if there are any secret doors that I might have missed. Not there. <laughs> not anywhere is my guess. No, and no. Okay. Yeah, you're fucked, aren't you? Alright. Oh, can we not climb this ladder back up? No. Oh, right. Um. Well, fuck. There's no way you can make those falls, I don't think. Oh, except you can. That was risky as hell, though. I would not suggest doing that. <laughs> uh, we're gonna, just going to take another Estus Flask to heal up. And that was amazing. That was probably the most professional thing I've ever done. Um, there is more stuff down below as well. But let's, uh, let's see where this takes us. Grave of Saints. I just <laughs> read that like I'd never read anything before. I'm just learning. Ah, uh, we've got a bonfire down here. We can teleport out. If we want to. <laughs> I'll just leave him. I'll leave him as well. These people have done nothing to me. Some filthy water. A bunch of rats. That's disgusting. Oh no! Son of a bitch! Attacking me! Oh god, more rats! What the fuck is going on? Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Alright. Is this exactly where I just came in? Yeah, of course it is. Ah! <laughs> Some people are just unbelievable. You don't kill them, and they get all bloody pissy at you for leaving them alive. Let's grab what we can. Be feel bad that we can't get there. Maybe we'll come there one day. Perhaps one day. Uh, what does this message say? Be wary of phantom. It's a train of rats coming after me. Is 
to circle strafe this rat, he won't even know what to do. Yeah. Rats, rats can't circle strafe. Uh, take it from me as a zoologist, that is an animal fact for you. Oh. Oh, what? Mm. No. No, I don't think I do want to do that. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Why would a decrepit old man not die from that? I don't get it. I don't, I don't have a Pharaoh's Lockstone anyway, so I couldn't use them. I uh, won't, even if I did want to. And I've learned my lesson from rat-infested places. Although that looks like it would probably be good. More rats. I don't like rats. I don't know what you're doing here. <laughs> Dropping out from the ceiling. This place is not fun. Fuck off, fucking rat bitch. Because he Hexinger is equipped still. Let's use one of those. Hey, rat bitch. Right, I know, I'll be the end. I'm going to get rid of these hexing guns as well. <laughs> and I crypt my bolts and my arrows. There we go. Good. Remaining professional as I go on. There's a fog gate there. There's a statue of a rat there. There's a bonfire here. And there's a foggy there. And there's a liar. Uh, let's just quickly check out the other end. And then uh, we're going to have to call it a day. I, I do want to go through that, that fog gate. But I think that might have to be another episode. What's this? Big skeleton is chained up. Homeward bone. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> There's a bunch of rats back there. Well, they haven't attacked me. Fuck it, who cares? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. That's where we came up. Okay, I'm going to have to call it a day there. When we pick it up, we're going to go through that fog gate and see what happens. I hope you're looking forward to it. I sure am. Yeah, fun times. Okay, if you like this episode, click on the link to my Patreon page. You can pledge as little as $1 a month and it will keep this channel going. Help keep it going, at least anyway. Um, Alright, guys, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.